G'day, I'm the Breakfast Buster and today I'm going to get you from Sydney International Airport all the way to the city in the best, quickest and easiest way possible. Flying into Sydney International Airport is always a journey. It's a long flight, you're tired, you're jet lagged, and even though I find the food on the planes perfectly acceptable, the coffee is always awful. So when you get to the airport, stop at Veloce Cafe and have yourself a nice cappuccino or whatever you fancy. Um, I'm going to sit and have a coffee, and then I'm going to show you the best way to get back to the city. Now that's good coffee. There's many different ways to get from the airport to the city. Taxis, Ubers, uh, you can get a public bus if you want, but that is so complicated. Uh, there's car hire, there's limousines, there's airport shuttles. But the singular best, easiest and quickest way to get from the airport to the city... Catch the airport link train. Sydney airport's about nine kilometres from the city. It, compared to other airports, um, LA is about 14 kilometres, Heathrow's about 24 kilometres, um, Bangkok's about 30 kilometres, Narita in Tokyo is about 65 kilometres. So it's close to the, the airport's close to the city. Um, the problem is for the Sydney 2000 Olympics, they built the Airlink train line to take arriving tourists from the airport to the city. Unfortunately, instead of the government building the train line, they put it out to private tender. So the nine kilometres you travel is the most expensive train ride comparing cost to kilometres travelled in Australia. It's going to cost you roughly about $17. Um, but look, when you arrive at an airport, you really want to muck around to save five or six bucks. I say get on the train, get to where you're going, take it easy. So, we'll go and find out how to get to the station. So when you get down here, this is where you want to buy your Opal card. You can buy single tickets into the city. They're $17 plus for one way. Um, the Opal card is going to be your friend while you're here. You will use it for ferries, buses, trains, and using the Opal card, the fares are cheaper than buying single tickets. And often you can't buy single tickets. A lot of the buses are prepay only, so you need an Opal card to get on. So be sensible. Get an Opal card. The minimum amount you put on is $35. I would suggest putting at least $50 on, and then you're good to go. You can top them up pretty much everywhere. There's machines at ferry stations um, and train stations. You can go into large uh, grocery stores, Coles, Woolworths, top them up there. Most news agents will top them up. So do yourself a favour. Get an Opal card if you're in Sydney for any length of time. It's going to get you wherever you want to go. It's going to make things really, really easy. You can also top your Opal card up online if you're travelling with a laptop or an iPhone, as everyone does. Each card has its own unique number. You can put it in, transfer money in. It's a really simple, easy way to go. These are the machines that you see a lot of ferry and uh, train stations where you can buy single trip tickets. You can top up your Opal card. Look, once you get it, hang on to it. It's gold. And that's what your Opal card looks like. There are the little readers behind us that we'll use it with. Every time you tap on and tap off a mode of transport, it tells you the price of the journey um, and how much you've got left on the card. That's it. Now, when you're at the airport, you've got to go to platform one. That's the one that's going to take you into the city. 
Look, a lot of people get off at Central Station where there's 25 platforms with trains going all over the city, all over the state. But for me, I'm going to get off at Circular Quay. And if you can get off there when you first arrive, again, particularly if it's your first time. go Because Circular Quay is a dramatic place to arrive in Sydney for your first ever visit. You get, oh, just missed a train, don't matter. Um, you get off at the quay, you walk out, and it's classic Sydney. Great way to intro to the city. This is the uh, airport link station. As you can see, it's clean, it's new. This little screen here tells you when the next train's coming and what the stops, stops are. Our next train's coming in three minutes, so there's never much of a wait. Um, the next train after that's in 14 minutes, next train after that's in 18 minutes. So we're gonna go from here to domestic terminal, uh, then mascot, then green square, we're getting close to the city, then central, a lot of people get off there as I said, then museum, and then St James, you're on the city circle, you're right in the heart of the city now, and circular key, our stop. train arriving now these are all new trains there's plenty of room for people and luggage uh, they're two level upstairs and downstairs and they're like the mezzanine level which is really great if you've got a lot of luggage and it's right out there. first stop domestic airport then mascot then green square then central museum St James circular key Lidius, and town hall So it took me about 15 minutes to get from Sydney Airport to Circular Quay on the train. Really easy ride. Look, but even I'm the first to admit it's not the most attractive run. You're underground on the train pretty much most of the way. In fact, you could really be in any city in the world until you get to Circular Quay. And this is why I like getting off here, because you really know you're in Sydney. So. That's how I suggest you get into the CBD from the airport for about $17, 15 minutes. So I'm catching the ferry home now after getting to Circular Quay and I just want to take this opportunity to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Each week I'll be releasing videos about great places to have breakfast in Sydney and fun things to do afterwards. So hopefully you'll subscribe to the Breakfast Buster and I'll see you soon.